Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this example, we're going to look at how many paths there are to get through a grid. It says, in a certain city, there are four streets going east to west and eight streets going north to south. How many street paths start at the southwest corner of the city and end at the northeast corner of the city and have the shortest possible length? So one way to travel through the city with the shortest possible length is to go seven blocks to the east and then three blocks north. Similarly, we could go three blocks north followed by seven blocks to the east. But that's not the only option. Essentially, we have to make a decision about whether to go north or east at each intersection. As long as we never go west or south, we're gonna go the shortest distance. For example, if I choose at my starting point to go north, then at the first intersection choose to go east, then choose to go north again, then choose to go east, then choose to go north, and then the rest of the way choose to go east, I've still traveled three blocks north and seven blocks to the east. I had to make decisions at the starting point and at each one of the intersections. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten decisions I had to make about going north or east but I only have the option of going north three times out of the 10 decisions. So essentially, we know that we're going to go to the east seven times, and we're gonna go north three times. And what we have to decide is, which are the three times that we're gonna to choose to go north out of those 10 decisions? So if we were to number the decisions, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, then in the example where I went north first, then east, then north, then east, then north, then the rest of the time went east, it's as if I chose on the first, third, and fifth decision to go to the north. I could almost imagine putting the numbers one through 10 in a hat and selecting three of them. And that would be one option for a shortest path through the city, where I go north exactly on those three street corners, and on the rest I go east. Since I'm selecting three numbers, and the order in which I select them, by the way, does not matter, this is an example of a combination. We are choosing from 10 different street corners or 10 different decisions, and we're choosing three of them to be going to the north which is equal to 10 factorial over 3 factorial times 10 minus 3 or 7 factorial. This is equal to 120 different ways that I can accomplish this task, or in other words, 120 paths through the city that are the shortest way to get from the southwest corner to the northeast corner. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. You can also subscribe to me on YouTube, or you can follow me on Twitter at Ms. Hearn Math.